This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. What to say? Our system has been disrupted. What system? Every system. From politics to technology to gender to the climate itself, everywhere you look, some system is being disrupted. Sometimes these disruptions are welcome, sometimes not. What to do? Let's ask the artists. They venture out to the edge. Perhaps they have some idea. One of my convictions is that visual artists engage in a different form of thinking than you and I. They don't start with words. They don't articulate propositions and proceed by logic to test them. They search for what looks and feels right. Perhaps there is something to be learned by the way they balance their systems and disruptions. What might be said to be an art system? In the case of Lockwood De Forest, it was a process, a format, and a compositional sensibility. Painting the landscape in plein air in a predetermined size, De Forest created a system that allowed him to focus on what was different in the landscapes he found all over the world. Nicole Strasberg did something very similar. She turned a mild obsession with a particular weather webcam near her cabin into a drawing then a print, then a series of over 100 gouache paintings. As climatic forces acted upon that landscape, she painted the changing colors and shapes of those forces. Bob Nugent also works from a process and a format. He starts by visiting a place and making notes, doing drawings and taking photos. From those, he works to recreate his memory of the place on a large sheet of veneer. He then slices the sheets up and collages them back together again. Against the grid, organic forms emerge and fade as our memory sometimes recalls things in bits and pieces. And then we have R. Nelson Parrish, whose 21 Flag series was born from his interest in the way that layers of wet paint look when they're scraped away. Working wet on wet with archival spray paint on Arches paper, Nelson soon arrived at the stripes of the old stars and stripes, black and white and red and blue. Here they are, both inseparable and unerasable. Equally relevant to the current political dialogue are the Me Too series by Nancy Gifford. For this series, she removes the book covers from antique books, mounts them to birch panels, paints an open ruffle skirt, and adds ceramic legs in various postures. The titles of the books then become signature elements that highlight the historic biases that we bring to stories about women. Her system is designed to disrupt our current discourse about certain types of girls. Sometimes the system is just a process and not even a very defined process. Rafael Perea is an artist whose process involves taking works through a series of intuitive moves and counter moves, driven by impulse and practice. In interferencia, interference, his system masks the original signal, his inspiration, with the noise of each pivot, suggesting that it is the disruptions that give his work its true life. For Nathan Hayden, his system might be better understood as a creative practice. He draws a lot. His small pictographic ink drawings, organized around an axial symmetry with notations and observations of the moment, help him to maintain a creative flow. The disruptions reflect his changing inspiration. At the high point of the modernist experiment in the mid-century, artists like Jules Engel of Los Angeles and Sidney Gordon of New York and San Francisco worked to bring humanity and wit into geometric abstraction. Working with and against the grid, they pushed formal boundaries to see what was possible. At the time, abstract art itself was considered a shock to the system. Ann Diener's system of drawing and collage represents places as they evolve through time, immigration, development, growth, and decay. Overdrawing and adding digital photography or cut paper to the pieces represents the changes to these places wrought by the disruptive forces. Her swirling compositions of recognizable images record these disruptions as a system in and of themselves. The idea of a system that feeds on its own disruptions is epitomized in the latest evolution of Ethan Turpin's feedback-driven organism, 
video organism. Organic geometries grow from this two-camera setup to literally evolve new designs as it uses its output as an input. You can then interact with this closed system to disrupt it, but the system will incorporate the disruption as part of the system. Perhaps no piece in the show better exemplifies the problems and potentialities of what happens when a closed system gets disrupted. System Disruption is up now through February 25th. Come see it.